got the season, the seasoning. They got the flavors in there. That's a good one. That's a good cup of coffee. There's enough sugar in there to send me to the moon and back. Let me just braid my shit real fast. I posted an after snaps video saying that I was going to the post office for a package that I got sent there. And this is it. Oh, look at this beautiful. Is this a sick bucket hat? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. The top is like a spiral and it's just like patchwork. Oh, I love the colors, like the patch of black and white checkered. When you look at it fast, it kind of looks like the color bars you get on a TV. And it's big enough to fit my fat head. Oh! It doesn't have like a seam sewed into it, so it's like one size only. It just like forms to your head. Which side do I want forward? Yeah! Oh! 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 So I was at a craft show. I passed this booth and she was selling these like knitted hats. Oh! I don't know. I just really felt like that would pop in a video and it would look cool. The business is Neon Stitch by Emily on Instagram. Neon Stitch by Emily on Instagram. I also think on Etsy, but I think you can get from her Etsy from her Instagram. You know how social media works? I don't know. I gotta learn how to style a bucket hat. Front down, sides up, like a cowboy hat? Front up, sides down? It's fun. Is there stuff in my teeth? No, I just need chapstick. My lips look like a lake's frozen over with a bunch of cracks on the eyes. Oh, wow! All right, so this is a P.O. Box opening. I do these every so often on the channel. I also write down where the mail comes from. Some of these are oddly shaped. We took a box, made it a round rectangle. How did we do that? We've been making trapezoids at our house, haven't we? But this one's pretty flat. I guess we'll get to the shapes. <laughs> Slime eggs, slime eggs, stuffers, gift party favors. Wow, they really try and hit all the keywords. Six pack slime egg stress, stuffer, gift party favors. I need my handy dandy box cutter. These are stress eggs, other slime eggs that are supposed to de-stress me. Okay, hey yo. Did one of them open up? Oh no, they're just cold. Eggs got some bounce. Sounds like when you're on a trampoline. Is, wait, the slime's just gonna ooze out of here? Do I need like something to catch the slime? The bag it was in. It just held shape. What in the hell? Maybe because it's f cold slime? It smells like alcohol, Sharpie markers, and pineapple. What the heck? Okay, it's just stuck in a... Oh! Because oh. <laughs> it's just breaking off in chunks. It's like a fun, funky purple gold color. I'll give it that. Here, let's put it back where it came from. Yay! I'm trying to like putting the toothpaste back in the tube. I'm gonna let that one sit out. And we'll see if the slime defrosts or whatever it needs to do. Should I touch my eye after touching the slime? <laughs> Thank you whoever sent that. We'll have, we'll, we'll circle back. Honestly, whenever you touch a substance that you're not supposed to get in your eye, why is the first thing you want to do is just rub your eye? Suddenly I want to remove both my contacts, flip them out with my corneas, call it a day. This is a very light box. Maybe I shouldn't be shaking it around. Christine snaps. Wow, look at that. Look how my name's written on there. I like that. It's from Mary, Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Pewaukee? Hey, this is Pewaukee. No, it's not Milwaukee. Ever been to the movies? Yeah, we got some talkies. Which is another name for movies. They used to call movies back in the day talkies. Oh, the talkies. Going to the pictures. The talkies. The hoopla. Oh, this is Pewaukee. No, it's not Milwaukee. Maybe in the same state, but I gotta reiterate. This is Pewaukee. No, it's not Milwaukee. It's fun. That's all the package I needed. It was just the gift of an idea. <laughs> Give me the gift of your town, where it's shipping from, and let me go. <laughs> Make me a bird so I can fly, fly far away. <laughs> this is from Mary from Pewaukee. Mary from Pewaukee. No, it's not Milwaukee. Uh, it's, all, it's all gonna be stuck in your heads. I swear. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my god, just a cute little pink box came out of there. I'm intrigued. You've got my attention. A little note. Please open on camera. Looking forward to seeing it. Hi, Christine. I hope this brings a smile. What? Should I open it first and then read the note? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm flustered. Oh my gosh, I've seen this little gag before. It's still funny. It says, for the person who has everything, belly button lint roller. Be belly button lint brush. Oh, what's your hobby? Whoa, what do you make? Oh, you started a small business? What do you make? I make belly button lint brushes. When's the last time you checked your belly button? When's the last time you took a peek? Down there, not down there, the halfway down there. Belly button territory, what's in there? It's a cavernous cave. There's all types of cloth gets in there, hair. Who knows when you're washing your hair, it goes down your body, some of it gets sucked up in your belly button. What are you gonna do? You gotta clean it hair. That's why I sell belly button lint brushes. <laughs> Love that. Just a little gag gift. That's so, that's amazing. Also, side note, little fun fact. I don't know if it's actually a fun fact or a fact. Interesting tidbit. I clean my belly button. You all cleaning your belly buttons? I clean my belly button every single time I shower. But also, sometimes I'll just take a Q-tip to my belly button. Because I'll be like, 
I don't know, I was running around today, I wonder what's in my belly button. Nothing ever is! Whatever's in the cracks and crevices of your body, whatever. But I clean my belly button pretty regularly. How often are you cleaning your belly button? Be honest in the comments, I wanna see them. Check your belly button every so often. Might be like a Skittle in there or something. Hey Christina, I hope this brings a smile to your face, like you bring one to mine when I watch your videos. Keep doing you. I gave one of these to my family and my husband's family for Christmas this year. <laughs> It brought many smiles to people's faces. When you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours. Love, Mary. Also, I'm obsessed with the stationery. Look at that little jar. Look at this. It's like the purest white of white pieces of paper so it has just enough lines. A little bit of background graphics. Amazing. I love that. For the person who has everything. Well, now I also have a belly button lint brush. I truly have everything. Thank you so much. Oh, that's funny. And it came from everybody together. Pawaki. No, it's not Milwaukee. Maybe in the same state, but I gotta reiterate. I love it. This is from Peter. Oh my gosh. Wait, Peter, I see you in the YouTube comments. Peter, show yourself. From Madison. Oh, you live in Madison. It says Christine Snaps. Attention, Riley and Christine. Do I need to get Riley in here for this? Do I need to wake him up from a nap? I'll do it. He's on his eighth nap of the day. Riley. Hello, sir. Hello, Bobby. This is good timing because Riley's wearing one of the cactus bandanas that someone sent us in the mail. I'll hold the chair. Can you come up here? Oh, good boy. Won't you sit? I'll get you snackies. Oh, they can barely see you. Y'all see him? A little small fry down here. Oh, you look like a miniature dog from up here. Can you see us? Oh, the focus is on you. This is from Peter. You want to smell it? Riley smelled approved. Oh, Madison, Wisconsin. We got to write. Remember that. Madison, Wisconsin. Ooh! Oh, look at that. Oh, that's going in the backyard. Pet food warehouse. You ever been to a pet food warehouse? No, you maybe go to the pet store. Is this tape? Oh, sparkly tape? Purple tape? I like purple tape. Oh my goodness. Look at that. No, no. I love that. Okay, this is for you. Don't forget for later. Thank you for the frisbee. Riley has a select number of toys outside. Like an old volleyball I had. There's a rubber ball. He attacks them outside. And then we just run around with them. Are you out? We'll have to see if you're into frisbees. You want to wear my hat before you go? That's what my head smells like. He's like, I woke up from my nap for this. Yes! Okay, thank you for coming. Him running in here is like having a guest on a TV show. That's two for Wisconsin. The tape's going in the craft bin. Did you write this? Oh, you typed it. I was like, how did? You, how is your handwriting? Look like it came out of a typewriter. Okay, everyone, buckle up. I got a two-pager. Christine, you once said in a video that you didn't care if we said our ages in letters, so I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I'm writing this on the, my typewriter because my handwriting looks more like someone's baby was given a pen than actual words. I relate to that. You have an actual typewriter? I've always wanted a typewriter. Not even to use. Maybe just to have. I just think typewriters are so cool. I love the sound of a typewriter. I love heavy keys. I'm also listening to your videos as background noise as I type. I'll be your background noise every day. I'll be your bun -um -bun -um -dun. I'll be your fantasy. I'll be your background noise while you get your chores done or write letters to me. What song is that? I'll be your fantasy. I have no idea where that song is from. Anyways. Anyways. Oh my god, you said anyways after I said anyways. It sounds like the beginning of your movie. Anyways, you're probably wondering how I got here. I'm Peter. I'm living in Madison, Wisconsin right now and I've been here about two years. I grew up in a very small town called Viroqua. Good luck pronouncing that. That's what he said. <laughs> Viro Viroqua. Viroqua? Sounds like a liquor. Oh, give me a bottle of Viroqua. It's near Lacrosse. Okay, I found your videos before Alloy, so I'm an OG fan. Oh my god, how did you find the videos before Alloy? I think I posted like 20 videos before that. Oh my gosh. But I've never written because honestly, I don't think I've had anything to say. However, now I do. Oh my, here we go! Peter knows how to write a letter. Hey, turn it up the heat! So buckle up. Let me adjust my hat. Let me make sure it's on. In case you try and blow me away. In August, I went through a really awful breakup. I thought I was going, I'm sorry about that. I thought I was going to be with the girl for the rest of my life. Oh, ain't that the worst. That's like you finding a new coffee flavor and then they get rid of it. And you're like, I thought I was going to be drinking that the rest of my life. Not the same thing, but you could see how I was trying to relate to you there. I had a ring picked out and everything. Oh no, Peter, you buried the lead. Ring, oh my goodness. And like I said, I've been a fan of yours since long ago, but for some reason, hanging out virtually with you made each day manageable. Peter, now you're tugging on my heartstrings. I rewatched your old videos, kept up with the new ones, and just kept myself busy. I took it day. There's literally someone in my life right now, and I said yesterday, giving them advice, I said, take it day by day. That's all we can do. Day by day. I took it day by day, and somehow I made it slightly out of that pain, and each day that goes by, I make it further and further away from the pain of losing her. Use that typewriter and write some books, because you, you have a way with words. I decided it's about time I thank you for everything you've done for me. Peter, I didn't do nothing. I'm just here. I just got the gift of gab, and somehow I figured out how to press record on the camera. People reach out, people, paper reach. Why can't I talk? People reach out to you all the time and tell you how much your humor and levity. Levity, look at you. And a bonus word. Give yourself 10 points for that. Levity makes their days better, but on a very serious and personal note, thank you. Ooh, 
can see, can you see it? You got me right in the heart. I said to watch your videos with my dog Cooper and I really am just so glad I'm not alone in the world right now, as cliche as that sounds. Peter, you're never alone. What do I always say? Sometimes we feel lonely in the world, but you're never alone. There's always people going through something similar. There's always people who feel like you. Also, shout out to Cooper, the dog Cooper. However, this note is not all about that. Your humor and the way you riff off of some of your comments and the tangents you go on, it has inspired me to get back into improv. Peter, you're marrying it again. I love improv. Hell yeah, a long lost love of mine from my childhood years that I'm able to reconnect with. Hell yeah. I'm currently a member of a troupe here in Madison. I'm in my second year with them. So thank you for inspiring me and being an inspiration for so many others to follow follow our dreams and be brave like you. Peter, I'm not, I'm, 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 not, I'm not being brave at all. You're brave, that's crazy. I've always wanted to get into improv. I really do. And other news, I've included a little gift for Riley. I always love when people give gifts to my dog. <laughs> so I thought I'd do the same. It's from a chain of pet stores here in the Madison area. There's some background and their whole thing is that they give you, the owner, a Mount candy bar as a treat for shopping there. <laughs> Yeah, because whenever you go into pet stores, I always give a dog a treat. I'm like, that's great. I've also eaten some dog treats back in my day, but I would love a candy bar. There's also a small gift for you since I know you love crafty things. Didn't I say it was going in the craft bin? Peter, we're on the same wavelength. You really know how to give a compliment. You know that? Please know that you really help people out there, specifically me, but I know you're a real person too, and you need breaks and recognition too. Recogn recognition. <laughs> recognition. I need a tune up, <laughs> like a car. The car's got to be recognitioned. I don't know what to tell you. It's going to cost thousands. Breaks and recognition too, and you deserve it. We as a fan, base are so proud of you, Christine. Why is that part gonna make me cry? Stay golden, Peter. Oh my gosh. Peter, I know you're doing the improv, but keep writing on that little typewriter. I think the typewriter brings something out of you. This is an amazing note. Thank you so much. This hat's really growing on me. I just love like a pop of color on the top of my head. This feels like a book. Hope it's not breakable. <laughs> This from uh, Rana, Thatcher, Arizona. We've definitely opened that. We, uh, that sounds so familiar. If you need an egg and you need to hatch her, make sure you take a trip out to Thatcher, Arizona. You know what I'm talking about? The state, Arizona. Why is Riley barking? Riley got mad that my mom yelled at him, so she came and punched my door. He's like, and another thing, give me my frisbee. Okay, Rana, Thatcher, Arizona. Arizona, love. okay. Oh, it's got that honeycomb paper in it. This kind of paper gives me the heebie-jeebies. It's like layered within. Oh, harmonica blessings. <laughs> harmonica primer book for beginners with video and audio access. Shut up. V video access? My harmonica's sitting right here. <laughs> Put a note in here. Christine, I just want to start off by saying thank you and I love you and everything you do. <laughs> You're amazing. You're amazing and make me smile every day. I sent you a harmonica a while ago, so I thought this book might come in handy. You're the one that sent me the harmonica? This is coming full circle. Love you and hope you have a great holiday. Stay weird, Rana, pronounced like Donna. Rana. Wow, should we break out the harmonica right now? Just a couple of notes. Which part is the top of the harmonica? A whole note gets four beats. I know that because I took piano. A half note gets two. Section two, playing in first position. Michael, row your boat ashore. So that's pretty accurate. I wish you could play the harmonica just on vibes because I am vibing with it and I just don't know where to put my tongue in all the mouth holes. I'm in like a blues band. I'm like... I just, that's what I want to do. We just need to get there. I got the vibes. Thank you so much for a C-sharp harmonica. Is that the one you got me? Amazing. I'll look into it. This is Amazon. What are they making this out of? <laughs> Why are you struggling? What is this? The hype button. Does that say air, air horn button? <laughs> air horn button? I'll be the judge of that. Michael, row your board ashore. I love your content. Always makes me smile. Thought you could use this for infinite fun from Sarah O. I love infinite fun. The hype button makes a blast of high hip hop air horn sound effects to hype you up for life. Needs batteries? Oh, it has batteries in it. Let's turn it on. You're telling me I'm gonna be in the DMV waiting to get my license renewed back on the road. I'm gonna hit the hype button. I've never seen this product before. How come? How, I, this, I've needed this. For the person who has everything, I needed a belly button lint brush and a hype button. This is me. This is, if I was an inanimate object, and instead of hype, it would just say chaos. Inappropriate times to accidentally hit your hype button. Hey, no, actually, um, we took, we ran some tests. We poked you and prodded you and, you know, we, we ran a couple of tests and it, we found out that, you know, you, you got a case of the dumbass-itis. And I just, Sorry, that's, no, that's, I'm just, that's a fidget toy I play with. And that's, it's gonna be with you for the rest of your life. We 
can't, we can't get rid of the dumbass itis. That's what you have. No, actually, we assessed the roof after that hailstorm. Looks like you got a little more damage than we thought. You know, I was gonna give you like a 30% off discount, but it's not even gonna help. Unless you got maybe like, you know, $25,000 laying around. <laughs> Sorry, no, sorry, that's, that's, sorry, god, no, $25,000 for the hail damage, you know, because, oh my, did you just see the, yeah, you see that just piece fell off, there's a hole in your roof right now, that is just crazy, I'll get my guys in here, like a 360, <laughs> time to get hyped up, I could play this for hours, this is incredible. Sarah O, once again, you get me. This is from Swenson? Guessing that's a last name. Bondurant, Iowa. Bondurant? Bondurant. Bondurant. Bomp, 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 Durant. Bomp, 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 Durant. Bomp, Durant! It's a city in Iowa. Bondurant. Put that on a bumper sticker. Bondurant. This feels like a book. Ooh, this has a nice sound when you open it. Oh, sounds like your bones cracked off your butt. How I imagine my handwriting, what my handwriting looks like. What is this? <laughs> Wait, what else fell out of here? Is this chapstick? Delight Naturals Creamy Coffee Chapstick? You made a comment about your handwriting. Don't judge mine. I need this book too. It's a book to teach you better handwriting. I thought this was a book of my handwriting. I thought you were like, we've captured images of your handwriting. We put it into a book. This is what it looks like. Part one, tracing shapes. Oh, they really take you back to the base. There you go. Forget what you know about the letters and the order that they go in. You really just trace in lines. Look at that. And then they make you practice? Okay. I literally saw a video the other day on TikTok of someone being like, you need to doodle more. And I'm not a very creative doodler. I like just making lines and lines and then lines going this way and then lines going this way. But this, I could get into this. Three letter words, not, was, and, man, out. Wait, why did you mark some of the pages? <laughs> Thank you for your hard work. Believe in yourself, you can do it. Oh, that's a good page to mark. Thank you for the book. I'm gonna leave this in my car. Oh, and I'm like waiting on somebody, just working on my handwriting. Your handwriting looks fine. A little yellow envelope. Christine, thank you for all the fun videos and laughs. You are so talented and work hard for all of us. I hope you enjoy these gifts. From Lynn, I think everyone around me will enjoy my better handwriting. Smells like those Werther's Originals, the coffee ones. How do you open this? Oh my, what is that, a caramel macchiato in a tube? Forget your lips, this one's going right up the nose. That's a crazy smell. Next time I get in the car with Mia, I'm gonna put one of these on. And see if she makes a comment. She's like, do your lips smell like coffee? How much coffee are you drinking? Cause it's oozing out your pores. Thank you so much. You guys are so good at reading people. You're reading me like a book, like a book about handwriting. This from Nada, from Hinkley, Ohio. Hinkley! Have we gotten something from there? It sounds familiar. Maybe I've heard of the town. When I went to go visit like Farmer Lacey, maybe I drove through Hinkley or something. Hinkley! You have nice handwriting. You got that all caps, real sharp handwriting and Sharpie. Ooh, ooh. Oh, nada. There's nada problems with your handwriting. It's good. You packaged it well. Another yellow card. Multiple goodies. I've never seen these. 3D stickers, paper craft stickers. Look at these stickers, but look at the side. It has a 3D, like the arm is popped out. They have really advanced stickers these days. That's impressive. Little cactus hangers. This is like for a classroom, but I honestly was thinking about the cactus today that we're kind of in between holidays. Maybe I'll just make it a cactus themed cactus. I don't think we've done that. Is this candy? Sweet connections. Middleburg Heights, Ohio. Wait, it's confetti? No, it's sugar con sugar confetti. Yo, look at that. These are so like realistic. Oh, <gasps> what? Whoa, are these plastic too? I can't do a lot of glass glass. Prone to just being a dumbass. Look at this cactus wine glass. It has like a little gold rim on it. Gold on the bottom. I've never seen that. Again, I don't know where you guys keep finding all these cactus products. Love that. That's like a chalice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do declare we should get some more horses for our stable. There's two of them. A cactus, what's this called? Cookie cutter? Okay, we have to do another one of the without a recipes and make cookies of some sort and put them into cactuses. Love that. I also like how my name is written on this card. You're clucking amazing. Wow, where are you getting this card from? If you got an eye for shopping, this card's clucking amazing. Dear Christine, love, love, love your videos. You're hysterical, fun, and real. The way you wrote this too, your handwriting, feels like I'm getting slapped in the face with like enthusiasm. Hysterical, fun, and real. <laughs> I got whiplash, gonna need a neck brace. Keep making the magic happen. Your videos and messages bring light, life, and laughter to many. You rock. P.S. Thought you'd enjoy that random collection of goodies. I thoroughly do. Congrats on being a super face. Superstar. <laughs> Congrats on your being a super face. <laughs> P.S.S. If you've ever in the Cleveland, Ohio area, would love to meet you up and show around. I don't know if I've ever actually been in Cleveland, Ohio. Did I drive around at one time? I've never hung out in Cleveland, Ohio. Let's say that. I don't know. Uh, from Nada. Amazing. Oh, we have to try the candies. Amazing assortment. I don't know where you're shopping, but they must have different shops in Ohio. They just smell like sugar. That's good. They should be edible. Oh, if we make cookies, put these on top. Mm -mm 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 
I was gonna say they kind of taste like coffee, but that's the chapstick. I'm eating the coffee chapstick. These are fun and so cute. Thank you so much, Jacob. I already opened this one because I recognize it. This is from the Dashboard Tea Company in Greenville, Wisconsin. My fellow content creator friend, Jake. Oh my God, he kills me every time he just sends me stuff in the mail. You're kidding. Wow, I understand why people are drinking these. He just sends me tea, he's trying to convert me. Citrus mint, love that. And then this is peach, okay? And then he says, he started this thing on TikTok where he took like Starbucks as like a medicine ball drink that they come out with like in the cold months. He literally found like how to make it with his own stuff. Hello, I meant to send this to you back when you were sick and just forgot. When was I sick? Wow, Jacob knows me more than I know myself. When was that? My apologies, this is a duplicate of the medicine ball from Starbucks. Use half a serving of each and add a little lemon juice slash lemonade and some honey. Be well, Jake. Oh my God, Jake's out here wishing me well? <laughs> God, he's the best. He is the best. Check out Dashboard Tea Company. He's trying to do this thing every year where he like sells to someone all throughout the US, like at, one, or at least one person in every state. He has great teas. They're great. And I love his little tea shop. If you're ever in Greenville, Wisconsin, let's check on our putty or our slime. Ooh, still kind of chunky. I think it's still freezing cold. Okay, it's falling out. Nope. Oh, I played with it too much. Now it won't close. Great, it's expanding. It's expanding in the egg. Okay, this from Andrea Preston. Preston? Looks like a Q. Presquon? Prescon, Iowa. Wow, Iowa and Wisconsin are really hitting today. Preston, Iowa. Are you trying to press on or pressed on? We're the top of the top. We're pressed on. It keeps reminding me of what's his name in the Beauty and the Beast. Is it Gaston? No one laughs like Gaston. No one looks like Gaston. No one has a town named like him. Oh, like Preston, Iowa. This feels hefty. You did something here. Oh, I'm just gonna rip the whole front thing off. Kate, okay? can't really close that box back up. <laughs> what is this? Beer bread? My mom made beer bread one time. It's all coming back. Vermont. It's all coming back to me now. Beer, butter, bake. Oh, two of my favorite things and one thing I can't figure out how to do. Love beer, love butter, don't know how to bake. Oh, some unidentified white powder coming out of a bag. What could go wrong there? A t-shirt, shut up. Purple, my favorite color, purple, my favorite color. What does it say? What does it say? And I keep unfolding it so much because it looks like it's my size. A little bit a while ago. Why <laughs> is it dated? Oh, uh. <laughs> I love this shiny font. One time in a video, apparently on the date, May 8th, 2023. <laughs> the fact that you dated the saying. I said, ask me something that happened a little bit a while ago, which I just said in another video. The fact that you dated it and put my name on it. <laughs> Good, now I'll never forget when I said that. Looks like you made this shirt. Where did you get this shiny paper? Tell me because me and my mom make shirts sometimes. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, a Betty White book? I'm giving these to my nephew, niece and nephew. The little golden books with the foil on the side. Uh, had those as a child. You got two of everything. The wonky donkey? <laughs> that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> also known as a smart ass. <laughs> he was a lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be a mouthful. <laughs> I'm gonna be reading this to my niece and nephew and they're gonna be like, and TT doesn't know how to read. I'll be like, that's literally what the book says. It says, hee haw. And there's, oh, binder clips, binder clips, binder clips. And there's more. Sour neon gummy bears. Sweet smiles. I've never even heard of that brand. Where's this from? Iowa? Is this an Iowa candy? Don't be a prick koozie. Oh, wait, there's a bunch of bookmarks. Oh, I'm about to lose it. These look homemade. There's too much going on. I'm getting overstimulated. Oh, no. This one says, you are my sunshine. Did you make all of these? You must have. You're a crafty person. The tie-dye, the colors, the Christine, the coffee cup. Does it say coffee queen? The lamination. They laminated it. I love a good laminator. Wow, these are cool too. I like that. Who got a bookmark like that? It's double later. It has a drop shadow. Look at all the thought put into this. May, Lily of the Valley. Is that my flower? I was born in May. This one's really pretty too. Okay, you're gonna have to DM me how you make these. I need to know. I'm sure it's just like a bunch of die cuts or something like that. What is this? Star Wars Mandalorian? What? Game of observation and quick reflex is five. It's a game? Five games in one. Okay. My, my friends were just talking about Star Wars last night, weren't they? Look at that little keychain with my name on it. What are those slap bracelets? A Lego slap bracelet? My nephew will get a kick out of that, but I'm going to get a kick out of it first. And then look, a bajillion bracelets. Hail to the yeah. Do I have one on? <gasps> Where'd the other one go? I had two on my ankles and one of them broke off. I saw it break off. What happened to the other one? Were you looking at my ankles? Did you see I was without a friendship bracelet? <laughs> These are some good colors. Um, absolutely love the bind eclipse. Ooh, there's like five different pieces of paper in here and I already like don't know where to start. I wrote this during the summer. Okay, and then something fell out. Two things fell out. More stickers. This one says, but first coffee. I love the graffiti style, but first coffee. That's going in the office. Christine, I've been a fan of you ever since COVID shut down our world. Yucky. You make my day so much brighter. Hi, I'm a 40 year old woman of teen boys. Insert a fart joke here, lol. Uh, pff, uh, pff, uh, pff. Your cooking without a recipe videos are hilarious and nerve wracking. 
I agree. Try anxiety inducing. I have no idea what I'm doing. As a baker and a cake decorator, I'm also a huge fan of your crafting videos. I just love watching you. We've discussed, I haven't done many, but we're getting on top of it. I just love watching you. I've been meaning to send you this box of goodies all summer and now it's mid-October. Well, now it's January, but I'm not one to criticize on the time of year or when it's been sent out. I'll never catch you on that. Picks on the back are from years ago. My kids are now 16 and 13. Holy cow, because you got a little family on the back. A little family stationery. You and your wedding picture, very cute. And then your boys. Even the stationaries from a while ago. <laughs> Get over, everyone just kind of, everyone kind of just lean to the side. Cause you're a little crooked. Purple paper, a little lilac paper. This one, this, now this note was written in December. We got, everyone keep up. This summer flew by and then school started. I work at a school, LOL. And it's been chaos ever since. Life is about chaos. You work at a school? That's pretty cool. I don't know what job you do there, but I'm sure it's not easy. Okay, thank you for doing that. I am a 40, almost 41. Yeah, yeah, love that. Your old mother of two teen boys. Lord help me. I didn't say that. She said that. She said, Lord help me. I live in Preston, Iowa. It's a small town in Eastern Iowa, about 20 miles from the Mississippi. Sippy. So I'm a fellow goober and a weirdo, so I think we would get along great. I'm here for it. Fellow goober. I just lost my mom last month. It's been so hard because she was my best friend. I'm really sorry to hear that. We had one of those awesome relationships that mother and daughters don't usually have. I feel numb and lost, but happy she's not in pain anymore. I was with her when she left this world, and it was so peaceful, and it was an honor to be there with her. That's so sad. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. But can I just say, having a relationship, a mother-daughter relationship that's like your best friends is so rare. And I'm glad that you at least got to spend as much time as you did with her. I'm glad that you were there with her in the end. So, uh, waiting for your videos is the highlight of my Mondays and Fridays. The bacon challenges with friends and the ones with no recipe are hilarious. I am a baker. Thanks to my mom for teaching me young. I love that. Mom always said that being weird is awesome because you don't want to be like anyone else. So we always said weirdos rule, goobers rule. Sounds good too. This month is going to be hard without my mom and around for my birthday and Christmas. Oh, Oh, wait, when's your birthday? I think it's, I think your birthday was in December because you wrote this in the beginning of December. You said you were going to be about to be 41. Happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. Everyone say happy belated birthday to Andrea down in the comments. I'm trying to cope and go day by day. Oh my god, it's like a theme of today. Go day by day. I don't usually make a habit of being so sad and down, but I just want you to know how much I appreciate your videos. You're being silly watching Riley give you the stink eye or push you into the office because you heard a toy or smelled snacks. <laughs> wow, you get Riley. Okay, I will stop rambling now and I'll, so you can get back to your day or night or wherever you read this. It's, uh, I think it's about 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon. I'm starving. I got a Caesar salad waiting for me. Uh, thanks for all the laughs and keep it up. If you've ever head to Iowa, send me a message. We could meet up and be goofy together. Then she put her Facebook. <laughs> Andrea said, you can't miss me. Here's my Facebook link included. I wish I could click a physical piece of paper. Thank you so much. Thank you for being so vulnerable in a letter. Congratulations on turning the 41, the big four one. Celebrate your birthday 41 times a year. That's what all I'm saying. I'll leave you with that. When I was talking about stuff being oblong shaped, it would be this box. It was a rectangle. Now it's a, I don't know. They'd be really curved out this one side. This is from Sophia in Danville, California. Dan. Is there a Christineville somewhere out in the world? A Christineville. The girls flock like walks from. Okay, this is covered in duct tape, so I'm just gonna make sure I am cutting it in the right areas. I'm not sure how to attack this. That looks like a seam opened. Oh, okay. Oh, and a pop. Is this a plant? This better be a fake plant. You didn't send me a plant in the mail like that, did you? Here we go. Oh my gosh, what is this? Suck it up. Oh, it's not even. <laughs> Mug. Whoa. Look down here. You think it's a plant? It's part of a mug. It says suck it up. I love this color orange. It's like a like a moody orange. It's got sparkles in it. That's wait, what's in here? A little Santa hat with an A on it for alloy the cactus. Is this it? Okay, I thought there was a letter. This has gotta be it. 1219. Oh, this just got shipped. Hi Christine. First of all, I just want to say thank you for being you and doing what you do. I know you get that a lot, but this past year has been rough and you've helped me more than you could ever know. I'm originally from Hawaii. Lahana? Lahan La Lahaina? I was actually on one of your lives one time and you said hi to me and I went around my house screaming. Oh, lol. Oh my gosh, I haven't gone live in a while. Recently moved back to Cali to be close to my boyfriend who's in the military here. This past August, my family and I lost our house in the Lahaina fire. We lost our boat, office, and warehouse for my dad's company. It was really rough. My family and I are all okay. We did lose our ducks and chickens and a neighborhood cat that adopted us. You got so you got a lot going on. Holy crap, I'm so sorry. That is not. Whoa, that's nuts. All my personal things survived. My family got a new house already, so they're happy, but I just wanted to say thank you for being you because you always cheer me up and I always look forward to see what random video you put out. Even if I've seen all your videos, which I have, I'll just turn on your channel as background noise. Again with the Well, we got a, little, a lot of full circle callbacks today. Background noise cuz it's comforting. Also just super funny and random. This cup was at a Christmas party event thing that I was helping my grandma with and someone got this as like a secret Santa gift, but they thought it was ugly. 
I just complimented the color like four times. So they gave it to me. I've watched you since day one, but I could never figure out something different to get you. Well, it's a one of a kind. This cup instantly made me think of you, so I took it as a sign to send it to you. I'm not sure if succulents and cactuses are in the same family. I think cactuses are succulents. Have I been wrong this whole time? I think they are. Someone confirm. Sorry about my handwriting, bad desk. <laughs> Blaming it on the desk? <laughs> also, I didn't have a box that fit <laughs> the cup, so I had to improvise. <laughs> Which I commented on from Sophie. It says, also, I hate when words are squished looking. You know what I mean. I hope skipping lines helped your lazy eye stay in place. Hello. <laughs> Sophie, did you just call me out? <laughs> she wrote the letter and skipped lines and she thought that would help my lazy eye. <laughs> wow, Sophie, you really coming in with the roast there at the end. That's so funny. Did it help my lazy eye? I don't know. No, I don't think the lazy eye has anything to do with reading, but thank you for thinking of me and my wonky donkey tonky wishy wonky lazy eye. <laughs> I'm really sorry that you lost your house and uh, like a lot to the fires. I'm so sorry, but I'm glad everyone's okay. And you already got a new house and all your personal stuff stayed. I also thought the cup was cute. So whoever said it was ugly, go away. What else could we ask for? This has been a crazy video and my head is starting to sweat from this hat. Oh my God, I haven't sipped my coffee once. This is how full it was when we started. Why? Thank you guys so much for watching the videos and sending me stuff, which you definitely do not have to do. Love the letters. If it's on a typewriter, if it's handwritten, if you're roasting me and you talk about some hard stuff and some deep stuff, and then I also get, you know, frozen putty. And just like, just a bunch of crazy stuff. I love it. You guys are always so thoughtful. I love the background stories. I love the inside jokes. It's the best. It's great. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Oh! <laughs>